Mark Aragon here with uh, Lou from Nutrition, Nutritionist to the Stars, and we're going to talk to him a little bit today about uh, how he goes about training uh, these fighters, elite fighters of the world, on how to eat correctly. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a quest of mine to try to help these guys, you know, not only be healthy during their fighting career, but also post-fighting career. I think it's a lot of things that people don't don't think about. They think about their career and then not, you know, afterwards. So I try to teach them now and then also for post to, to make sure that they remain healthy. So right now we are post UFC 197 where John Jones made his return uh, back to, uh, to the ring after being off, what, 15 months I think it was. Yeah. Uh, you were instrumental in getting him back into fighting mode. Uh, 10, 11 weeks almost. Uh, tell, tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, you know, I, I came out about uh, 10 weeks prior to his fight, and, and the good thing was is I already had a good base with him because his, his fiance cooks really healthy, and he was already eating kind of healthy. So I just had to make a couple of tweaks, stay on top of him, make sure that we got the key nutrients when we needed it, and it just made my job that much easier, you know, to kind of be able to be with him 24-7 and, and give him his shakes, his water, before bed meals, and, and it just made sense to be with him for that long. Uh, simultaneously, or, or at least towards the end, uh, you picked up uh, another client that we, we can obviously talk about now. It's been announced uh, in Andre Alofsky. He's getting ready to fight uh, in a couple days now. Uh, what changes have you had to make to Andre's regimen compared to John Jones being a light heavyweight and going up to heavyweight? I mean, is there like a big change? I mean, do you cater? How does that work exactly? What do you have to do? For me, it's probably the biggest change because there's no stress as far as making weight. You know, I do my best to make sure these guys don't stress about it. And, and especially for fight week, they're not worried about their weight because they're either lighter and much healthier. So for me, this camp is a lot better because there's no stress of having to make weight and then rehydrate. All I'm looking to do is, is just make sure Andre's eating a little bit cleaner, a little bit healthier, putting just better fuel in the gas tank, a little bit leaner, a little bit lighter so that he can not only be more powerful but also faster. Uh, and, and he's just adapted to it really, really well. Looks great, feels great, and I'm just excited to be a part of his team and, and look forward to the fight. You know, May. 8th. Let's let's talk a little bit about uh, your your experience. How did you get into this uh, line of work? I mean, what made you think you know I'm gonna I want to train some of the greatest uh, athletes in the world to to make healthy choices in their lives. Yeah, I, I never thought that I would actually be working with athletes on this level, to be honest. You know, I got into the health and fitness industry about 16 years ago. I come from a very heavy family, parents, brother, grandparents, and, and I wanted to educate myself on, on how I can help them. And then when I started going to school, I realized, wow, there's a lot more people who suffer like this. You know, I wrestled when I was in high school, so I did all the terrible weight cutting and, and after being away from it for so long and just educa educating myself in the health and fitness industry, I figured that that part of it's had to evolve because everything else has evolved. And come across some fight, local fighters and they're cutting weight the same way we did 20, 30 years ago. And I, it just made no sense to me. So it, it lit this fire that, that I was gonna try to change the way people go about making weight and, and now I'm gonna utilize everything that I've learned and, and merge the two, you know, uh, to do that. Who else have you trained that, uh, that we can talk about? So my first client that I've ever worked with was a guy by the name of Eddie Truck Gordon. He was season 19 winner of uh, The Ultimate Fighter. After him, it was Aljamain Sterling, and then uh, George Masvidal, uh, then Johnny Hendricks, and then after Johnny Hendricks, you know, John Jones, and now uh, Andre Orlovsky. So, you know, um, and in between there, one of the guys who I actually helped bring out to this camp, Jose Shorty Torres, you know, he made his Titan debut uh, about a month ago, and he's fighting again this weekend. You know, uh, Andrew Yates, another guy who fights for a, uh, you know, uh, another promotion. So, uh, I just try to link up with genuine good people. I don't care what your record is. I don't care how great you are. If you're a good person, then, then I want to work with you. You know, you've been at uh, Jackson Wink now for almost, what, 12 weeks, uh, starting with John. Uh, What's your experience been like at this camp compared to uh, the other camps that you've been around? I mean, what's the atmosphere like? What are the fighters like? What, how would you compare us in the uh, in the grand scheme of things? You know, this this is it's an easy answer, and it's it's no disrespect to any other camp that I've been a part of, but but there's a reason this is the best camp you know in the world. The coaches are, are excellent. 
of the training partners. It's the quality of training partners. I realized this camp taught me that, you know, you know the expression iron sharpens iron, and there is a heck of a lot of, a lot of iron in this camp. And all the coaches are on the same page with each other. You know, I, I got to work with Coach Gibson, who I think the world of. He's one of the best coaches in the world. Coach Wink, getting to, to, to listen to him and be a part of that team. And uh, again, one of the best coaches in the world. And Coach Jackson, you know, you get to understand and see firsthand why these guys are the best, you know. Um, coach Izzy, wrestling coach out here for John. I never realized how important it is to have a specific wrestling coach, you know, to, to work with, with the individual fighter on certain things. And, and the, the greatest thing is, is that all these guys are willing to help everybody, you know. So uh, this, is, this is why this is the best camp, because the best fighters in the world want to come here, want to train here. They're being trained by the best coaches. They're being trained by, you know, uh, the best training partners. So it was really an eye-opening experience and, and something that I'll never forget. Well, you know what? Thanks, Lou, for joining us today. It's uh, it's always good to hear from uh, other uh, other people involved in this business, other than just the fighters talking to us. You know, you're a whole other uh, aspect of this, and, and you're an instrumental part of the whole process. So, appreciate you taking time out of your day and meeting with us, and uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, down the road again with other fighters and other announcements. Thank you very much, man. It's been an honor and a pleasure, you know, being a part of this camp. And, uh, you know, I just look forward to this upcoming fight with Andre. That's my focus. After that, you know, you'll hear some other announcements, but make sure you tune into that fight because it's going to be something special, you know.